it is very exciting to observe the development of the Swiss market. In countries like Germany, France or Italy, domestic manufacturers always keep a fairly clear lead over their competitors. So without their own manufacturers, competition in Switzerland is less distorted and gives the brands more room to conquer market share. Our managing director recently described Switzerland very aptly as a compressed Europe. Reason enough for me to compare the performance of certain models in Switzerland more closely with the EU7 markets. Well, it's not a secret. The Skoda Octavia is by far the most successful fleet model in Switzerland with a market share of 7.5%. But how do other models perform? As luck would have it, I am here at the BMW stand close by the new versions of both the 1 and the 3 series and it will be interesting to see which role they are going to play in the European fleet markets. Not surprisingly, the number of new registrations is currently declining as a result of the long-known premiere of these new models. The market share of the BMW 1 series in true fleet market from January to July 2019 in Switzerland is just 0.4%. In comparison, 2018 as a whole, the market share was just under 0.6%. In the first seven months of the year, the BMW 3 Series achieved a market share of 0.9% in Swiss fleets, while in 2018 this was 1.2%. At first glance, these two market shares appear to be quite small, but are due to a huge variety of models in Switzerland. In its home market of Germany, the BMW 1 Series currently has a fleet market share of just under 0.7% in 2019, compared with 1% in 2018. However, the BMW 3 Series continues to find its way into German fleets more frequently with a market share of just under 2.1% year-to-date July. This is just slightly below the previous year's level. Looking at fleet registrations across all EU7 markets from January to July 2019, the BMW 3 Series has a market share of 1.1%, whereas for 2018 as a whole, this figure was at 1.3%. Meanwhile, the 1 Series has a market share of 0.7% in 2019 and in 2018 the market share was just under 1%. In conclusion, while presently the numbers are dropping, our forecast analysts predict a resurgence in once the new models hit the market with peaks for both in 2020. If you are interested in more forecast numbers, don't forget to check out the video of my colleague Richard who has this more in focus. That's it from my side and don't forget, data collection data analysis, data analytics, data force.